Now, I'd love to tell you I've always stood up here and defended life. You know that's not true. I worked for Planned Parenthood for eight years of my life. I did not grow up in a household that proclaimed abortion was acceptable. I grew up in a very pro-life, conservative Christian household. You may say, what happened? How did that go awry? Well, you know what? I think we are all just one sin away from walking down a very dangerous road of immorality. I didn't go to bed one day and wake up an abortion clinic director. The road to immorality takes place at a very slow decline, but it's just one sin at a time, one justification at a time, one compromise at a time. It takes place just little by little, bit by bit. That's how sin comes into our lives. We eat it just little bites at a time. And that's exactly what happened to me. I grew up in this Christian home. I grew up in this pro-life home. But we didn't sit around the dinner table and talk about what it was to be pro-life or pro-choice. You know, it was a different time, too. I mean, the late 70s, early 80s, you know, abortion wasn't in the media like it is today. Nobody was standing up at a podium. Women weren't standing up at a podium and shouting their abortion. People, people still had a filter back then, right? So not everything that came into the head came out of the mouth. I would have been sunk. <laughs> no filter. But it was just a different time. Things were still very taboo. Anything you know, related to sexuality, you know, was very taboo. It was kept very quiet. And that included abortion. Women were not proud of the fact that they had killed their children by abortion like they are today. I just saw a picture of a woman the other day. She was wearing a t-shirt that said, I've had 21 abortions. She was very proud of it. And you say to me, oh, there's no way, Abby, a woman can have 21 abortions. Well, of course they can. We had women come in all the time that had 16, 18, 20 abortions. That's, that's not uncommon, guys. 50% of women who have abortions are having repeat abortions. Because we aren't living in a time, this may be shocking to you, but it's not shocking to me. And I can tell you it's not shocking to any young people here in the audience. We are living in a time where it's, not, it's no longer about abortion being safe, legal, and rare. Those days are gone. 